Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here. And it's rare that liberal foolishness surprises me anymore. But America's most corrupt politician surprised me today. Hillary Clinton, the darling of liberalism, is making noise like she wants to preach in churches. <laughs> what? That is like an abortion doctor wanting to open a daycare center. Liberalism is pure evil. Pick an issue, any issue, and the liberals are on the wrong side every time. Want to know who the Democrats will choose as their presidential candidate? Just choose the one with the most despicable record of lies, criminality, treason, hatred of law enforcement and the military, and of course the highest body count of people who were going to testify against her. Hillary Clinton, a name that just won't go away. Somebody recently said that the Clintons reminded them of herpes. Just when you think you're over it, it breaks out again. Now we all rolled our eyes a while back when Hillary compared herself to Wonder Woman. And now, believe it or not, Hillary wants to preach. Why in the world would she want to do that? Well, I have a theory. There are two really effective ways to lie to people. The first is to dress up in a lab coat and say, science has proven, and then whatever nonsense you add will automatically be believed by a lot of people. And the second most effective way to lie is to call yourself a reverend and stand behind a church pulpit. And I suspect that that is Hillary's plan. Now what kind of a church would allow someone like Hillary Clinton to serve as a church leader? <laughs> That's easy. A church that sold its soul to Satan a long time ago. The United Methodist Church is one of the most evil false churches in America. They were one of the first to denominations to proudly violate the biblical prohibition against women pastors. Then they proudly spit in God's face by cheering the slaughter of unborn children. And they recently absolutely violated God's holy law by embracing and promoting homosexuality and all forms of sexual sin. That is the kind of church where Hillary Clinton would be welcome. A demonic, God-hating church that promotes sin rather than doing what a church is supposed to do. Point people to the Savior, Jesus Christ, the Son of God who died to save men from their sins and to encourage them to reject sin and live holy lives. False churches and false preachers. God warned us that these days would come and as the end days approach the faithful men and women who stand firm for God's Word and the message of the cross will be persecuted and false churches like the United Methodist Church will be at the forefront of the persecution of genuine Christians. So we we shouldn't be surprised to see Hillary Clinton elbowing her way into the head of the line. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and America, bless God again.